right, so if you're getting an error like this or BCD not found or something like that, first thing you're going to want to do is create a Windows bootable USB. All right, I'm going to put that USB into the computer and we're going to go ahead and restart. All right, oops, let's actually restart the computer. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to press F12 to boot. I should have taken a picture or started a video when it was um, having the BCD error, but let's go ahead and show you this. Okay, so I'm going to press F12 and I'm going to select my um, SanDisk Cruiser boot drive. As you saw, it wasn't booting right. So we're going to choose the SanDisk Cruiser Fit Partition 1 UEFI. Let's do that. It has my Windows install, uh, Windows setup uh, boot installer. So we're going to do that. I put 64 and 32 bit. Most people will just put the 64 bit, excuse me. All right, so we'll let that load. done all right it's gonna restart now with the windows um, like recovery options kind of thing or the installer sorry next we're gonna go to next I'm just gonna press tab three times enter for next then we're gonna go down to repair your computer all right we're gonna go to troubleshoot we're gonna now go to command prompt in this we're gonna go to uh, disk part just like that all right You'll see the hard drives that are in your computer are actually not yet. You've got to type uh, list disk like that with the space. Press enter. Here you can see the drives. Just know which one is, hopefully you know which one's your Windows drive. On this one, they have three. Um, it shows the uh, USB that I have. The first one's the SSD. The second one's like a four terabyte drive. So disk zero is the one that we want. So we're going to do SEL. D I S K basically select disk zero. Okay, make sure you put the spaces. Press enter. Now we're gonna do uh, list P A R T. Okay, oops. So you'll see these different partitions. The largest sized one is usually the Windows partition. Then there's a recovery one in this case, and then there's a primary one which is only 100 megabytes. Usually it's the smaller one that's the one we need to do. So we're going to do select SEL part one. All right. You can type select partition one as well, but this is a shortcut. So SEL part one, we'll go to there. Okay, so after you select that, you want to assign a letter to the partition so you can see what files are there and also so we can move files over there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to say, you can put whatever letter you want. So we're going to do assign um, letter. So make sure you have the right uh, partition selected. Okay, so we're going to do assign letter equals. I'm just going to put Z. All right, so now we can um, type exit and press enter. All right, so if I go to Z and colon and then press enter, you can see we're on Z drive. I'm going to type in DIR so we can see what's in there. Right now, there's this recovery thing that's there. Okay, and that's all that's in there. So what we need to do is we need to actually move the um, BCD, or not the, mm, what is it? BCD, UEFI files and stuff there. Okay, so what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna find out which one is our Windows. Usually it's C, so type C colon, and if that doesn't work, try D colon, and then if it works, type in DIR, see what's in there. That doesn't look like Windows, so we're gonna try E, DIR. That doesn't look like it either. That looks my USB, so we're gonna try F, DIR. And you can see there's the Windows uh, folder there. So that looks right. You'll know it's right because there should be a program files, program files x86 and Windows. Right, once you get that, so now we know it's drive F. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna say, um, okay, so we actually want to format the new drive we created. So we're gonna type, um, sorry, format. In this case, because we labeled it um, Z, we're going to say format Z, and then we're going to space forward slash, and then we're going to type in FS, 
and then um, colon, and then FAT32. This will format it to FAT32. Okay, if this doesn't work, you might have to do FS equals FAT32, but in my case, you do colon, press enter. Here you can see it says to enter your current volume label. Um, if you didn't see it earlier, let me actually scroll up here. So, where is it? Hopefully it's still there. Okay, so when we saw the partition primary here, uh, okay, let me see. I think we might have to do something to find the volume. So I think we can type in, let me see here. How do I, okay, I'm going to cancel this one real quick. I think you type in vol, oops, Z, I think, is that how you do it? Okay, and there you go. So you can see this thing right here. So you can see it says system. So that's the name that we have. So we're going to type that in. Okay, so let's go back into format thing. So I just pressed up. It saves what you typed and entered last. So we have that again. Do that. And then it was system. I don't think case matter, uh, matters. So that's all caps. This is like not. So we're going to do that. And here you can see it says all your stuff will be lost. So yeah. So then we're going to say Y for yes. Okay, and it's gonna format it. You can label it again. I'm gonna just call it system again. Okay, there we go. After you do that, um, we're gonna type in BCD boot. Okay, and then we had F drive was Windows in our case. So F and then colon Windows. All right, and then space forward slash S, and then we're gonna go to Z colon because that's the new drive or the new drive letter we created okay and then did I push a space already hold on uh, okay colon space and then we're gonna go to forward slash F and then space and then we're gonna do in all caps U E F I right so there we go we're gonna press enter and there you go oh did I do it wrong what did I do wrong BCD boot F oops sorry I missed the um, thing here so F you need a backslash here I believe all right so F backslash Windows and then forward slash s Z and then the new drive letter Z and then forward slash F and UEFI so let's go and there you go boot files successfully up uh, created now we can actually close this okay so we can just close that and we're gonna turn off the computer and we'll see if it boots from it. If it doesn't automatically boot, it might boot from the USB. So if that happens, you might have to change your boot order. But let's see what happens. All right, so I powered it on. Let's see. Is it going to automatically know to boot from the right place? Or is it going to try and... Oh, wait. Is it going to try and boot my USB? Come on. Do something. It's taking its time. If it starts spinning, then I think we're, yep, okay, I think we're good. If it didn't work, you might have to press F12 to select the boot device or depending on your thing. So you can see it's booting, and there we go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.